nice background today, but it's raining outside, so yeah. Uh, and I'm staying at home today. Yay! Uh, at least in the morning. Um, I will be out in the at lunchtime and probably won't see the Belgium game, but whatever. Uh, the calculations are finished and I think the picture is getting somewhat clearer. So let's go straight into it and have a good look. Again, there have not been too many changes. Uh, one that I noticed when I updated this, Brazil increased by 2% and almost everyone here decreased a little bit. And it makes sense. If Brazil is favored and its chances increase, all the other chances should decrease. Um, and not much movement in the top 8, but there was more movement here. Um, as we will see, Argentina has a much clearer path <laughs> into the second round thanks to Nigeria's win over Iceland. And that actually boosted Argentina's chances. You may think what you want about Argentina, but at least their rating is still uh, quite high. Um, Switzerland also rose and that's why Uruguay fell and the, uh, Denmark and Mexico flip-flopped. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, the chances of Serbia were hurt a little bit. Um, Nigeria got boosted, of course, um, day after a one, while Iceland dropped. And we have another team in Costa Rica that is eliminated. I list Costa Rica here because they have the worst goal differential. They have a 0-3, whereas Egypt has 1-4, which is slightly better. And both of them are still... Um, Worse than the 0 2, both by Peru and by Morocco. Uh, let's look at the projected tournament and let's stay here at the upper groups. Of course, no changes in A to C. Now, Nigeria is on average in third place but has a smaller qualification probability than Argentina. And this is similar to the Germany Sweden situation we talked about. Argentina is favored over Nigeria, hence, they have a higher probability of winning. Uh, but again, the, um, it's more solid here for Nigeria, uh, since they already have the three points and Argentina has only one point. Yeah? Uh, Iceland loss really hurt them. Uh, also, Group E is a similarly interesting situation, as Brazil is now uh, on average the best team, but they have to play the harder opponent in Serbia. So although they are in the extra standings level with Switzerland, with even a better goal differential, they are a little bit worse off in terms of uh, qualification probability. It's still a very substantial amount. Um, and Serbia, yeah, they went for the win and it's clear because a draw would not, ha would not have helped them much either here. They would have higher chances of qualifying, but I think they would still be um, well behind Switzerland. So they needed to go for the win. Not much changes, of course, in the other three groups as well. And the projected tree now changed on one spot, two spots actually. Uh, the first one is Nigeria, which is a rematch of the round two matchup four years ago. Uh, and of course, France is projected to go on. And then everything else stays the same. And then it's Switzerland back in, and Switzerland is favored, of course, over Mexico as before. Hence, Mexico is out of the quarterfinals again. So for one day they were in, another day they were out, but you know. If Mexico qualifies, I'm sure their ratings get boosted and there's a good chance. I think uh, Mexico should like the chances of finally making out of the second round. And if they really play against Switzerland, that's, the, that's a matchup uh, of desperate teams in a way. They both want to take the next step. One of them probably will. So it will be interesting how it all pans out. It will be in a week. We know more. We are already in round two in a week from now. Well, let me know what you think about my projections now, or in general, how you project the tournament will go. As you can see here, I still have projected the Brazil-Spain final. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.